Okay, this show. Man, everyone talks about this show. Now we found out who the Raven. Bye bye, Birdie. Yep. Raven, Ricky Lake. I was so blown away. You know, the first clue was like she performs in front of an audience. So I immediately said, oh, it must be a talk show host. I thought Sherry Shepard. I was convinced it was Sherry Shepard. Right. You know, that she'd overcome some things, and I know Sherry, so I was adamant. And then, you know, I was surprised like everybody else. Although a lot of people on social media <laughs> seem to have guessed. Remember, we didn't get the chance to Google and oh, look up clues. So, everyone else so it was a little bit easier for the at-home audience, but still, I'm really proud of her. Her story is heartwarming and gut-wrenching, and others that you'll see in the future coming in these next many weeks are just as powerful. Do you have a message for her right now? Ricky! I love you. I'm so proud of you, and I'm so sorry. I thought you were Sherry Shepard, um, but you know what? You just hit it out of the park, and I'm so grateful you're on our show. This show is tough. Like you said, you guys don't get the help that people at home no. get. Obviously, that's the point of this show. Yeah. How are you so good at no? Like, how are you? At go I mean, this I is crazy to me. I'm like, how does she know this? I mean, I don't. I wouldn't call myself good. I got one right. And I might get some more, but I am the pop culture guru, they call me on the show. So, I mean, it helps that I interview people constantly, so you're around so many celebrities. But, you know, there's also some singers on the show and on the panel that I'm like, how did you not know that was a singer? How did you not know? But um, we all have our own wins on it. So yeah. it's, it's a, a, no one wins more than the other in the panel. We're all equal. Okay, I was just about to ask, who's the worst? Ken. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ken Ken knows it too. Although last week he got it right, but Ken. He's, but it's Ken. He's Ken. He's Ken. You want him to get it wrong. Right. You know? It's so fun watching him get Of it course. Wrong. He's ridiculous and I love every part of him. We're going to skip fast forward to uh, Valentine's Day. If, if the world's time is not going fast enough, I want to take her to Valentine's. What's it looking like? I know you guys were watching Super Bowl together. I'm sure your man's very happy. Patriot. Oh, my God. I'm so happy, too. It made me such a Patriot fan. That, that was a Valentine's Day gift unto itself. Um, we, we usually plan something. It depends on our schedules, really. But this time we said, okay, listen, we're free. On Valentine's weekend, let's make it special. And we do have a romantic getaway place that we go to that we can't say what it is because then everyone will go to it. But... Um, Let's just say, if I was going to have a baby, <laughs> those babies would be made there. Oh. So but there's no babies, just fur babies. I have new fur babies in the house, and that's it. These ovaries are done. Oh, my God. Well, we can always pretend. Yes, you can pretend. You can okay. enjoy our fur babies as they multiply. We have five dogs now, so. Listen, have fun. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you very much. Thank I'm enjoying you. the success. <laughs>